Hi, I'm working on a customer's bus, and this is a good opportunity to point out something that's really important if you have a rear engine pusher bus. So there was a bed back here, and we are replacing it with something of a better design for them. But underneath this bed was this little step, this shelf, and this access panel. There was a piece of plywood across the front. There was stuff over the top of this all screwed and bolted down. So obviously this access panel has not been opened recently. In fact, on several of the screws, I had to cut slots in them with the little rotary tool, the zip disc, just because they were pretty well stripped out. So this access panel is really important. If you build a bed in your bus in the back, lots of bees, build a bed in the back of your bus. You've got to have access to this. Let me free up a hand and pull this panel out now that I've removed all the screws and show you what you can't get to uh, and what you need to get to if you have a rear engine bus. I've removed this panel and one of the things I'll do before we place it is put in some new weather stripping just to keep air from blowing in here make it a little more comfortable and then we will cover all of this with a layer of ceramic paper eighth inch thick ceramic um, fire block or heat resistant paper makes a super good uh, thermal barrier and is really designed for engine and generator compartments things like that so it works really well but we will do it in a way so that this panel isn't covered, at least not covered all in one sheet. With that panel in place, you would not be able to lift up the valve cover enough. So right now we could, you know, take the bolts out, take the valve cover off, do a valve adjustment, things like that. If this panel is covered up, and you do it permanently in a way that you can't get in there later, you're going to end up ripping out your bed if you ever need engine work done, or you're going to pay a ton of extra money to have the whole thing dropped out from the bottom. So instead of just removing the valve cover from the top, you'd have to basically remove the engine to get the valve cover off just because that panel is only, you know, it's a double layer here. So that panel comes to here and there's just no way to lift the valve cover up enough to be able to pull it out and clear that. So lots of important stuff in here that you need access to. I should point out one other thing underneath this coolant hose. Uh, not only do you lose access to the valves and the inability to remove the valve cover, but you can't get to your injectors either unless you come in over the side, there is a little gap, but can you imagine how much extra it's going to cost you and how much more difficult it will be if the mechanic or you have to try to come in through this little gap over the top of the engine to get to these injectors. Underneath your bed. So just make sure you can get in here. As always, have a great day.